The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's K-9 unit is one of the longest continuously operating K-9 units in the United States. Behind me here is their operations center. It's just south of South Point. I'm Joe Muller. We're about to take a tour inside of this operations center and also learn more about the K-9 trials that are happening this weekend. That is an event where you can watch these dogs in action. This is a little history of our section that we have keep posting pictures of. I mean, you have pictures from, I mean, decades. I mean, this has been around for how long? 65 years. Lieutenant Jeff Goodwin gives us a little history of one of the longest running canine units in the United States. We actually sent two sergeants for 30 days down 2911 to assist with uh, human remains detection. This shows you how long our unit's been around. Goodwin is very familiar with Metro's canine unit. So I want to say that one's about 2010. His father also worked at the department. And it was something I was comfortable with. Goodwin has been there for 27 years and now oversees the canine unit that has 16 canine officers. We'll see some of us doing training in here. This new facility south of South Point isn't even two years old. It bears the name William Forte. Yeah, he was the only canine handler in the line of duty that was killed. We have it all in here. Forte was killed in 1967 during a traffic stop that turned into an altercation. Got distracted, the male half was able to get his own gun. Was able to shoot him, kill him with his own gun. His dog, Bergie, was about a 110 pound shepherd. He was able to break through the windshield, get out, and attack the suspect. Bite him numerous times, including biting off his thumb. It shows you the dedication, uh, the history that these canines have. The facility was possible after a donation from the South Point Hotel. But in Vegas, it gets too hot to train a lot of times. So we asked for an area where we could train indoors. Uh, right over here, we have our kennels. Our kennels are state of the art. Uh, they're actually taking care better than us. They have two swamp coolers. This is seven-year-old Bones, a Belgian Malinois. Sits. And Sergeant Matthew Harris is his handler. Their whole life revolves around getting in and out of that truck. He and other handlers will be participating in the 32nd annual canine trials happening Sunday, March 24th at South Point. This is video from a previous event. Law enforcement canine units from five different states come to show off their skills and compete. It's fun to put him in a situation where you kind of get to show off the hard work. The trials are also free to attend. Now, while the dogs are fun to watch, Goodwin says they are an important tool, especially with suspects who are armed with a weapon. It gives us another low lethal tactic to help us reduce our officer involved shootings. Just last year, the unit responded to 3,900 calls. He says it's a program that saves lives and he is proud of it. Because we put the time, we put the effort into it and I see the direct results. Again, if you wanted to attend the K-9 trials, they are open to the public. It's happening at South Point on Sunday. We have all the details on our website, ktnb.com. Reporting near South Point, I'm Joe Muller.